This year, it is my delegation's great privi privilege and pleasure to co-sponsor with the delegations of Ghana and Morocco draft resolutions in this council recommending to the General Assembly that two more newly independent African Commonwealth countries, Zanzibar and Kenya, should be admitted to membership of the United Nations. Uh, this is an occasion of great rejoicing for the independence of Zanzibar and Kenya marks another significant achievement in the process of decolonization. Another bastion of imperialism and colonialism in Africa has fallen. In the anti-colonial struggle, relentless and unpredictable as it is, every victory fills us with inspiration and hope for the future. The independence of Zanzibar and Kenya has once more vindicated the universally accepted principle of self-determination, which but a few days ago in this chamber, we were striving hard to convince Portugal to accept. It has confounded the protagonists of the pernicious doctrine of white supremacy in Africa. The attainment of independence is a turning point. It is the beginning of a new way. But at the same time, it is a way to fight for genuinely national sovereignty, for the liquidation of difficulties which stand before fledgling countries on their way to independent existence, on the way to strengthening and consolidation not only of their political but also their economic independence. It is with special satisfaction that the Soviet delegation is welcoming the independence of Kenya, whose people was one of the first to rise for the fight for its national independence and freedom. We cannot fail to express our feeling of admiration and profound respect for the gallant people of Kenya, which has gone through many privations and trials before it uh, was able to attain its own independence. The Soviet people welcomes the aspiration of the people of Zanzibar, which was expressed on the 9th of December by the Prime Minister of the country, Mr. Mohammed Shamte Hamadi, and I quote, to create a prosperous, strong, and democratic state. We believe that these two nations will find um, active and useful roles to play in the deliberations of the United Nations. The statesmanship of their leaders and of the United Kingdom. The negotiations conducted with honesty, with forbearance and with determination, which have concluded with complete independence for multiracial societies, can serve as an example of cooperation and of tolerance throughout the continent of Africa. I shall put the admission of Kenya and Zanzibar to the vote uh, as suggested at the outset of this meeting, first presenting to you the resolution number S5483 submitted by Ghana, the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland, uh, and of Morocco recommending to the General Assembly the admission of Zanzibar. <coughs> All those in favor will please so signify by raising their right hand. Zanzibar is admitted to membership in the United Nations by the unanimous vote of, this, uh, of the Security Council, subject to approval by the General Assembly. Shall proceed to the consideration of the resolution presented by Ghana, by the United Kingdom, and by Morocco, recommending the admission of Kenya to membership in the United Nations. All those in favor will please uh, so signify.
Uh, keen areas likewise. Admitted to membership in the United Nations by the unanimous vote of the Security Council subject to the approval of the General Assembly. To men in accordance with Rule 60 of the Provisional Rules, I shall immediately transmit to the President of the Assembly the text of the two resolutions which have just been adopted, as well as the verbatim records of this meeting. I declare Kenya admitted to membership in the United Nations and I ask the Chief of Protocol to escort the Kenya delegation into the Hall of Evening. I declare Zanzibar admitted as member of the United Nations. May I ask the Chief of Protocol kindly to escort the representative of Zanzibar into the Hall of Assembly.